Hi there. Welcome to the Coach Kayo Show. This is your life podcast where we talk all things soccer. Let me quickly remind you that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. I was just reminded of that today. You don't know how much um, that means. The Coach Kayo Show is about um, influencing and inspiring our young people to live out their purpose. We think it's the most important thing um, more than ever to live a life that is purpose-driven. It takes away um, a high level of selfishness. It, it, it produces meekness. It produces kindness. Um, it produces patience. Uh, it produces faith. And, and we believe that is the measure of a life of peace. I'm anticipating in this um, in this podcast that you know this subject will really challenge you, but truly, um, you know, maximize your capacity to truly understand to truly understand what you are capable of and, and what you can do using this great game that we call soccer we and based on where we're listening from we call football it's also a good opportunity for you um, for me to say thanks for taking the time to listen to this podcast um, thanks for sharing the podcast thanks for being a great support um, for the podcast it is um, it's not so important for us to be perfect, but it's important for us to drive a message that will bring about transformation that can lead to impartation of, uh, that will change your situation, change your life, give you some hope, um, restore faith, and, and continue to challenge you uh, to love what you do. Guys, if it's if it's football, if it's soccer, if it's just um, what you're going after in life, because we are we are aware that there are different people with different circumstances who oftentimes listen um, to this podcast, to this show, because I am aware of those that listen that are not necessarily soccer players. So it's my hope that uh, through this through this podcast and through this message that something will inspire you, something will challenge you, something that will raise your capacity to be the, the best that you can be. So I'm, I'm anticipating and I'm excited that out of this, out of this discussion tonight that something will raise your capacity. Obviously, um, you have the choice and the decision um, of hard work and dedication and the will. The will. The will is the most important thing. And we're going to talk about, um, we're going to be talking about shapes. We're going to talk about angles tonight. Um, it's, it's a game of shapes. And for you young players, um, for you players that are might be more advanced, for players who are looking for something of renewing this passion and excitement, because you're probably going through some tough times. You're probably in doubt if you should be playing or not, if you should give up or not. Somebody might be in your ears telling you, you know, you've tried enough, it's a waste of time. Um, it's different situations. Um, I really want you to understand and get excited about what we're going to discuss tonight and would love for you to tune in, get your friends in, get your colleagues in um, so we could have uh, a meaningful discussion. If you would like to ask questions or you would like to share a comment that we all can benefit from, I, I, I covet it. I covet it. But before we jump into this, um, this exciting discussion, um, please do uh, take some time to support our march, um, the KMXVI. It can it can take us to places that you might not 
um, imagine. And, and as you do so, we, we are praying that it return to you a hundredfold. So quick interruption before we jump into this, this exciting topic. Soccer is a game of shape, of shapes, and it's a game of angles. So we, we will come back and we'll jump into it just after this quick break. Coyote, McKinnon, and company are ready to dress you in one of their most stylish, comfortable, and attractive athletic gears this fall for you to achieve that desired athletic goal. Check out their online store today for your joggers, tank tops, bras, backpacks, sweatshirts, and everything else you'll need to complete that look. It's Coyote, McKinnon, and company. We care. Welcome back to the Coach Kayo Show. Kayo Day here. Listen, shapes. Um, such an exciting, such an exciting, exciting topic. When I was studying, um, studying this thing and how I could really influence young players, more advanced players, national team players, how I could inf influence them to and have an impact on on, on them scoring more goals. Um, creating um, creating more opportunities, creating that final opportunity opportunities for goals to score. It, it's it's mind blowing because as a coach, you 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 know you want to always have an impact. As a coach, you it, it is it is rewarding to see transformation because transformation says that. You, um, by your giftings, you're able to maximize or help or influence, better word, influence how this person maximize their true potential. It's the gift, and the gift must be used uh, for impartation. You're given a gift so that you can um, impart, so that people can receive and then transformation comes. So, you know, being a coach, it, it should it is not as um, as mundane as people. Oh, you just go out and you 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 run a session, or you win a few games. Um, I think when you look at it from the perspective of it's an opportunity to elevate someone's life, to help them to reach their full capacity. It's a beautiful thing because it it establishes a level of peace. When you, I don't know about you, um, but humbly, when you have, when you reach a, a place of, of capacity, when you truly understand who you are and what is it you need to be doing, and you have a sense of how you need to do it, it, it gives you this sense of peace. And when I start looking at shapes, and, and listen, if you are a player, and you don't know the importance of shapes, you know, you're missing out on something. I can tell you, this will, this will blow you out of the water. This will, this will change how you play the game. This will separate you from your peers. It will separate you from the norm. It will, you know, it will give you, it will remove the commonality from your game. Excuse me. So it's a good time to share. Please do share this podcast. Please do share it across your social media platform so that someone can ex ex experience um, this, this beautiful game, this opportunity to maximize their potential. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, that is that's always a good thing so that we could continue to attract the right messages. We can continue to attract the influential people that we can all benefit from their expertise, from their knowledge, from their wisdom, 
um, from their understanding. So please subscribe to the channel, Kaido McKinnon and Co. And it's always good to hit the notification bell so that you know when we're on and you don't miss us. Shapes. Shapes. Do you know that the game is a game of shapes? Oh, if you knew this before, listen, please do share with me and and I would love uh, to have you to, to have a conversation with your understanding of how important this is. Um, it got me real excited because when you think about shape, you think about, um, you know, it's two or three it's shape is two or three di it's two or three di it's more dimensional and when you look at that perspective how important it is within within the game and then you have open shape where you really don't have a beginning or an ending point and then you have more of a closed shape for you scholars and and your 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 intelligent minds and which is good for the game I must add that decision making it's a very important factor within the the evolution of the game. When you are able to make good decisions, you are um, you are able to have an impact on the game that could de determine the results um, of the of the game, but also it can de determine if you are a high performer or you still have some some work to do. So you can have an open shape or you can have um, a closed shape. So when we talk about closed shape, we're talking more about the connective mechanism. For you to, to excel, you must be able to connect. And there's different variants when, when, when it relates to, connect, to connecting. You can have a... A, a variant where it's two V2s and, and you're able to connect with one player. It could be a bigger variant where it's eight V8s where now you have to connect with more players. So as the variant get bigger, the, co the connection becomes more difficult because there's a high level of cognitive demands when the variant is big. And we're talking about a game, the size of the game. You know, a lot of people don't like to play 2v2s, but 2v2s are the easiest way to build your capacity of understanding of how to use principles in the game. More people want to go and play 11v11s where there is much more things to think about. Um, and if you truly don't understand principles, you can get lost in there. So understanding shape and understanding the different types of shape gives you a sense of, okay, where do I need to start? Um, and what do I need to be focusing on? Because we know and we understand soccer or football is a game of shapes. And I will throw one more thing in there. Angles. If you might be, if you are confused. So we know shape is two or three, uh, is two or three dimensional. That means you have more options. So when you talk about shapes, you're talking about options. You can have open options or you can have a more closed option. So there's teams who, in a more, more open option, they, they are not, they're not linear in how they do things. Um, they, they're more aligned with principles and how you are able to implement those principles within in within different situations and then there's coaches who uh who want structure and organization and it's a bit more close and they identify with what shapes and angles they want you to play in so it's important to understand that what we know is that shapes are not associated with lines, with straight lines. It's it's not. When you from from a soccer perspective, they are not lines because lines are basically 
one dimensional it's it just it have it 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 got no no angles it go top to bottom and we know if we if we play in straight lines our chances of being effective uh is compromised we know lines have length and it it got depth but it it has got no angles so let's say for instance you are on you on you on south and you're supporting players at north if i'm a defender and i stand between you then obviously you're not going to be able to get that ball if i am at the right distance if i'm at either dropping off or i'm pressing high you are you are unable to get to that ball until you understand the importance of shapes and angles soccer is a game of shapes football wherever you're listening from is a game of shapes and you must understand that i know people are still making their way into this into this podcast so i want to take a time take this time to welcome you and say thanks if you're sharing if you're sharing this podcast i want to say thanks but because this um is really exciting because if you if players can really embrace the understanding of shapes then the game becomes a bit easier here why because understanding shapes you know allow you to understand three key things three key components and we're talking from uh the attacking the attacking function of the game if i must add that we know there's six different moments in the game we know the four but people miss sometimes the two and they could they could either say it's two or it's one but i say there's six different moments when you add um set pieces within there because set pieces are a very uh, important aspect in in the game in the modern day game so a lot of goals are the last time i checked i think it was 21 or 26% percent of goals are scored from set pieces so set pieces are not just a thing anymore so it's a big moment within the game so if you understand the importance of what understanding shape if you understand how important knowing shape is and how it plays a major part in making sure that you are impactful in the game you will want to you will want to really study this you really want to to understand you really want to go on this journey um with me we're on this on, in this show because i believe if i if i was if i understood this in its entirety or even a, a little bit of it i believe i'd be better player i i believe it in my heart because it 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 kind of simplify how you should be how you should look at the game you know you hear a lot of coaches emphasizing on shapes and angles and and you know and the importance of shapes and they're correct because it's a major it's a major uh, a major aspect within um determining a high performer you hear this say shape shape get into an angle <laughs> correct but can i tell you you know there's there's a lot of young players who hear that and they say yes they say yes because when you say to a player when you talk about shape and angle and you 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 ask them what does that mean they related to a very a, a key component within the game and that a component is space so when you talk to players about shape and angles in their mind they're hearing space but then you ask the players to define space 
and and more in most cases players will tell you you know wide and long wide and long and 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 I tell you they they are correct and 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 some levels but there's a there's a there's a, a deeper level and there's a different on the there's a they are much more advanced way that you can also use to become much more effective when it relates to shapes and angles again you are, you are correct in in when you talk about space being wide and long but how how do we define that how do we define um how do we define space while it's important while wide and long is very important you you have to be able to define that and you have to be clear about what is happening within uh, the confinements of shapes and angles when it relates to the game of soccer and i want to give you three key things when we come back from the rnk just clean learning corner uh, i think i need to get you ready probably grab a, a pen or a piece of paper so that we could we could challenge ourselves with some things and i i want to share some things that i've learned and it, like i said it, it is exciting because it's a way of really impacting and influencing you know young players to to have this capacity to maximize their potential and really enjoy the game of soccer so this quick interruption and we'll dive into this we'll dive into these key these key components we'll be right back Hi, I'm Kyrie McKinnon and welcome to another Learning Corner. Today we want to look at defending in a high line of confrontation. In this case, the green team will be the focus team playing a 1-4-3, one, 1-4-3. Four, three, one, four, three, three. And in this, the opposition or the non-focus group that will be building out the back will be one, three, five, and two, which we've seen a lot more of um, in, in, in the modern game to create a bit more numbers in a more advanced situation so that more goals can be created and more goals can be scored. So one of the ways um, you can deal with this um, that I believe can be effective is when this happened, rather than being in a, in a one and then a, then a four or a five and a, and a four, you will go one with three man to man These are now wing backs, not full backs. And when you use the term wing back, it's because a wing back, uh, the priority is to attack, then defend. Um, in a, in, when you're a full back, your priority is to defend, but you have the options of going forward and joining uh, with your teammates in the attack. So these are 11, and two, in this case, they are wing backs. So your full backs can deal with their wing backs in this case. Now, your approach in, in terms of how you pressure is vital. Your, the direction in, in how you pressure is crucial to 
um, how effective this can be because as you can see 1v1 can be very dangerous like we spoke about um, in our early um, in a in an earlier learning corner where it takes away the coverage so what you can do is you want to force the opposition to play with whatever side you want to force them to but once this ball is played you want to force them to the inside because the numbers are even in the middle where you can change your mark so you can first you mark and then you change your mark that means moving from man to man to marking and closing the space so in this case five received the ball um, the 11 force to the inside the 10 changed the mark get in front of the six the six changed the mark get in front of the seven the eight give coverage the nine change the mark to stop the ball from going back into the four. The seven comes to the inside to make it compact and balance the field. Now the three changes the mark and come more to the inside based on where the ball is being forced. So it, the three don't need to mark here because there's a gap now. So change the mark, close the space. The five change the mark, get on the ball side, four give coverage and the two comes inside and now we're compact and one of the key things with defending you always must think you must always think sorry about transition so in this case you win the ball it could be combinations or it could be 1v1s or you have the seven um, playing in between the lines so hopefully this was helpful if you if you come against a team that playing in a with a three back and five in midfield and two up front this is one of the ways you can approach it now this might not be perfect so i would love to hear your feedback um, your insight what you think can change what you think can improve um, what would you do different thanks for being with me again and see see you looking forward to seeing you on another learning corner. Welcome back to the Coach Kayo Show. Kayo Day here. Hopefully that learning corner was um, informative and it um, can trigger something that will help you to advance your game. But when we left, we talk about, you know, soccer is a game of shape. The equilateral triangle, it, they all have equal size. And that means sometimes that could be close shape because the coach wants to see that all the time. He wants you to play in that. He wants the opposition to have a certain behavior so that you can then exploit that. You can then create. Then we go right back with that triangle that triangular shape you're able to create space you're able to maintain space and you're able to exploit space so triangulate should not be just used as big words and and and, and be able to articulate but you know are the young players truly understand understanding why uh, they they're in that shape what it does so if they truly understand what the importance of being in that shape, then it gives them some, they give them a key, key component. That the first component it allows them uh, to understand is what to look for, what to look at. That is the knowledge aspect of things, what to look at. So I, I get the information. I'm now knowledgeable. That means I internalize what the information is supposed to be doing, now I'm able to know what to look for, and that looking for produces an action that raises my capacity and my understanding of how to be effective, how to maximize my potential. So shapes, understanding shapes and studying it and, and, and really having the ability to teach young players and they having the capacity to learn and take it in it, it 
I believe it will elevate our game. You will see better decision making on the field. I think players just sometimes, in all humility and respect, players sometimes just run <coughs> looking for a ball, looking for a space. Without first understanding, they need to understand shapes and it needs to be taught and it needs to be, it. you need to prepare with that understanding of the importance of shape, regardless if it's a more closed approach or it's more of an open approach. If it's more of a equilateral approach, isosceles approach where, you know, where two sides might be equal, but then one side don't look, it don't really look like you're in a triangle, but that creates a problem for defenders too. Because now defenders have to decide, should I be, should I, should I mark that man or should I mark that space? That's a different shape. Same triangle, but it produces a different challenge for the opposition. Once again, the game is a game of shapes. Some might look equal and some might not in all aspects. And then I learned this one more. Scaling, triangle, where there, you know, all sides are different. It's very important that we teach. It's very important that we te teach shapes. Because it's a game of that. You just... Like I said, with all humility and respect to, to every coach, to, to every player, to every family, and 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 we we want the game to improve. We want to see players play better. We want to enjoy the game. We want to see our monies being, you know, we want we want our money's worth. We want our investment to make sense. Players need to have a better understanding of how to utilize shapes. And one of the things we talk about within soccer is to triangulate. It needs to be a deeper, better understanding of what, what does that mean from an action standpoint, not just the theoretical side of it, which can be articulated by any um, intellectual, but it's its actions and how it's relatable to the game. And what kind of outcome you you wanted to produce? And there's great outcomes when you understand shapes, you understand how to move, you understand angles, because now you produce, and this is the key thing, it produces a problem that the opposition needs to find a solution for. That is that is the whole purpose. You want to produce problems so that people cannot answer. If I'm an attacker, I want to produce a problem that that the opposition might be unable to answer. Or by the time they get to the right answer, I already got two or three goals. Or the game is the game is over and we, we're winning one nil. It's, it's, that is the competition. It's a game of chess. And your decision, your decisions are producing outcomes. Whatever decision you make, it will produce an outcome. You must be clear about what outcomes you desire. You must be clear before you make a decision. Make sure you know all the options that and what will produce what outcomes before you make a decision. You want to be good player. You want to be high level player. You want to be professional player or national team player. It comes down to the decisions you make. Those decisions determine outcomes. And those decisions, by default, comes with consequences. Once again, you don't get to choose what consequence you want. The decision produces consequences immediately. It is very important to understand shapes. It is very important for coaches 
to prepare players with the understanding of shapes. And if possible, my belief is you must teach it from a theoretical standpoint, but also it must be practical. It must not it must not sound so theoretical that it is it is not transferred to the field with with understanding. Because a lot of players will say yes, but it's not a true measure of understanding because they, they are unable to implement it consistently in any situation. I am challenging, I am challenging, you know, coaches, I'm challenging players uh, to really embrace this understanding of shapes. Excuse me. Because sometimes there's too many rondos in rectangle, uh, in, in rectangular situation, but the numbers are incorrect because the numbers don't produce the dimensional, the, the dimensions that are needed to teach how you play with any shape. How you truly master the understanding of creating, maintaining, and exploiting space. Because when you just use a rondo in a rectangular or in a square and the numbers are wrong, then you are you are downloading an idea that don't relate to shape because there's too many straight lines in those moments. And we know straight line is not a shape. So you can you can you can play a rectangle, but make sure the numbers or the variant of that game is correct so that you can be able to teach shape and angles so you can then allow the players to master the ability to create the ability to exploit and the ability to maintain and if we put it in order is first start with create then we go to maintain and then we go to exploit we can't start with exploiting but they don't know how to create we can't go from create to exploiting but they don't know how to maintain because I can guarantee you the opposition will produce something that will need an action within the moment, within the, within the action itself, to be able to continue to produce those angles within that shape to be able to exploit something, to be able to have the outcome that you desire. So It's very important that we don't use because I I see, you know, with all respect to to, to coaches and, and and organizations, you know, there's a lot of times we use rondo just as a just as a warm up, but you know, from the first moment of the session, the brain the brain don't the the brain don't say I will adapt to this and I will adapt to that. No, the brain is actively working. The brain is actively working and it's taking in things and it's making those things habits and it's transforming those things into behaviors. And, and sometimes we, we, we are unable to control it because it's, it's, too, it's, it's resting deep on us already, especially for young players. So I think when we are, I believe, um, with all humility and respect that, you know, we, we, we must be a bit more conscious and aware that we are in a position to impart, we're in a, in a position to transform, we're, we're in a position to, um, to maximize the potential of our young players. Thanks, Leon. Good to see you. It is very important that we 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 maximize the capacity of our of our young people, and it's not just maximizing the capacity for soccer, but what we're doing to them, we're helping them to become better decision makers in life. It must be strategic. We must put them in position where they their brains are actively working from beginning to the ending. 
their brain must be actively working. We, if we know the dangers of decisions, we will. We don't want it. We don't want too many blind spots. We don't want too many dung time. When we have dung time, it must be that we're so full that we're running on automatic. So it's it's just it is just there so we could rest. Because decisions <laughs> determines our destiny. And I guarantee you, with all due respect, in the game of soccer, we are teaching our young people how to make decisions in life. They could make rash decisions or they could be a bit more strategic. They can look at all options before they make decisions. And that same idea will, will carry through to their lives, not understanding that decisions determine destiny. And they should never be just make decisions from conditions. They should make decisions because they have they have fully they fully uh, think about all the options and what outcomes will will what outcomes they need and what decision will best produce that outcome. Because conditions will not determine your outcome; it is your decisions. Whatever condition you're in, it will not determine your outcome. You could be in the worst condition. It don't determine your outcome until you make a decision. And decisions, by my understanding, it's you don't determine the consequences. It's the moment you make a decision, consequence is a default. It will, it will happen regardless. So we have to be able to actively get our players, our young players, our middle-aged players, our older players, actively using their brain. And one of the ways they can do that is through shape. Everything, Leon's saying it better than me, everything should be with intent. I say be an intentional person. Immerse yourself in what you're doing. You shouldn't, you shouldn't, I am, I am, I, with all humility and respect to all the educators, to all the, the psychologists, to all those people. Like, life is not linear. Life is full with different turns and different situations. And so you always have to make decisions. Nothing happens without you making a decision. And when you don't make decisions, the thing will make a decision for you. And you're in, you're, you're in, a, you're in a worse place now because you don't even understand because it wasn't your decision. So people, all of us, must learn to make decisions. And so we must be put, we must be put in situations where we have to make decisions. And one of the things within soccer and, and the importance of shape, you have to you have to learn it so you know what to look for. You have to have the knowledge so you know what to look for. And then you are now faced with decisions to be made. And you must know those decisions come with consequences. I don't think enough young people understand the importance of decision making. I think they understand how they feel. I think they understand I do what I feel. This is this is a free world. Yes, it's a free world, but a free world have produced choices in front of you. Don't forget that part. It's a free world. You can do what you want. But with whatever you are doing, do not forget that there's choices before you. <laughs> and those choices will produce outcomes. I am saying this because just teaching shapes, it's a responsibility and giving ownership to young players to know 
that they have to make decisions. You just can't come out here and say, I dribble well, or, oh, I pass the ball well. Oh, I was running more than this person. I don't think your brain is actively working enough to, to be using such superficial things. We need to have more deep conversation. With all due respect to everyone, we, they, they need to have deeper conversation, not, pre, not, not prescribe behaviors that, oh, my, 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 my child should have this amount of playing time. No, with all due respect to you and the money you invest in, but those, conversation, those conversations do not help. It will not, will never help your child in terms of decision-making. It will not. Sorry. It will, like I said, with all due respect to you, I am not telling you how to raise your youngins. But I am saying, if we have these superficial discussions and it's not, it's not actively, it's not actively challenging our brain, then who are we really helping? Are we helping emotions? Or are we helping are we helping young people to find their destiny? Soccer is a game of shapes. And these shapes put us in position to make decisions because it's not one-dimensional. You're two and they're three. So the decisions that you make are crucial for your outcomes. I submit to you that if you're a soccer player, and most of you young players, you're in school and, and you're doing maths and, and, and really study shapes and, and see where you fit, how you can fit that in to the context of soccer and, and how can you utilize that at your next practice session, at your next game. Think about it. And then when you're you're done doing it. Maybe you have your parents video video you and see and give you and do a reflection on how did you utilize those the the, the different shapes. Were you always in a straight line with your teammate? Did you just went wide and long and just stood there and 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 screaming for the ball with your hands in the air? Or, or did you try to move the defender? Or did you try to move away from the defender? Did you try to move away from your teammate? Did you try to make those different triangles? The ones that are equal, the ones that are not really equal. Like, did you try to did you try to put those things into your game? Because now you're at a different level. Now you're at a different thinking. Your brain is actively working. And I can assure you, your decisions will be a reflection of what you're thinking and how you're thinking. I will let you go. And, and you know, hopefully, you know, this discussion of shapes, and I don't think I've, I've, I've done um, enough justice with it. There's, there is, there is, is a deeper intellectual side that can be used, um, that could go far beyond. But in my own little way, the excitement of now, you know, really teaching this as a basis of playing the game in a very cognitive and intelligent way, it's super exciting, because. If you understand this, you're not gonna you you will not struggle uh, uh, um, to enjoy the game because to enjoy the game is about decisions. If you really want to enjoy the game, it's based on your decisions. Actively using your brain. So, young players, if you're listening, parents, if you're listening. Coach, if you're listening, um, it's a really good time to embrace this understanding and teaching of shapes. 
and the importance of it and how it will help your game to advance. I want to thank you again. Please share. Please share this podcast. Um, if the content made sense and and it was appropriate and you think that it can it can help in whatever way, if it's 1%, if it's 5%, yes, please, please do share. Um, and 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 so that we can we can all enjoy watching our young players, our young athletes perform. We can see in their transformation. We could see their level of discipline. We can see their level of maturity. We could see their level of respect. We could, and, and that's the next thing: the discipline that comes with decision. It's, it's. Hmm, you don't want to know how it, how that transforms your child's life. It produces a high level of will. It produces a high level of will. Because to be in a shape, you have to have that level of discipline. And discipline is a choice. Discipline don't come from nowhere else. Discipline is the will to say, I'm not going to do something that I, I don't think I should be doing. And I can tell you, it is not an easy thing to be disciplined. You can't pray for discipline. <laughs> you cannot pray for discipline. Discipline is your will. To have the will to be disciplined. That means when you know you have to get up five o'clock in the morning and run, and you say, Ah, I am tired. No, I'm not going to run. You have no discipline because you have no will to overcome the feeling of not running. It is not an easy thing. <laughs> so you you want to challenge young players to make decisions, to challenge their brain. And this is one of the ways you can do it. This is one of the ways you can. There's many other ways. This is, a, this is a way that I believe is super important. Don't just tell the young players to find space. With all due respect to you, don't try try to, to be a bit more um, in-depth and spend the time. Spend the time preparing, spend the time teaching so we could transform transform lives beyond the soccer field. But we could make big decision makers in our young people and see them reach their full capacity and maximize their potential. Soccer is a game of shapes. You need to teach it and they need to learn it. Stay blessed. Be encouraged. Please do share. Please do subscribe. Kaidu McKinnon and Co. on YouTube. Hit the notification bell so that you know when we're on. Have a good night and enjoy your holidays. Now is the time to keep your family warm with quality insulation for your home from Pro Insulation Company. At Pro Insulation, we solve all your residential and commercial insulation needs. Attics, crawl spaces, walls and ceilings, new and existing homes, and we offer traditional insulation and spray foam. Call Pro Insulation Company today for your free in-home estimate for all your insulation needs. Leave it to the pros and call Pro Insulation Company in Plainfield today.